What's up guys? We're back. It's Friday and so you know what time it is. Like, subscribe, comment, algorithm. Let's do this. So this week I'm not going to enjoy, and I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for saying this, but we have uh, Jordan Peterson on What The Fitness and I actually mostly like Jordan Peterson and what he says. I don't really get a lot of the controversy around the guy. A lot of the stuff I've seen him put out is actually pretty positive and I like a lot of it. But when he starts talking about diet and nutrition, then it's when we're going to have problems. Understanding that I actually like quite a bit of what he says philosophy wise, I was not a fan of this. Let's see what he has to say. And this is on the Lion Diet Instagram. The Lion Diet is from his daughter. I got into a Twitter, I guess spat with her is the best way to describe it because she was advocating for, it was either red meat consumption or raw red meat consumption for like little infants. And I kind of like asked for her evidence and her response was, we should have our kids race and see who wins. Anyways, here's the video. Dietary recommendation to prioritize carbohydrates produced a veritable epidemic of obesity and diabetes, resulting in what has been deemed by reliable researchers as one of the worst public health disasters of all time, dooming almost the entire Western population to a lifetime of catastrophic chronic health problems. Remember what happened the last time that government agencies applied their tender mercy to determining what the people they serve should consume? We were offered the much vaunted food pyramid, telling us to eat 6 to 11 servings of grains and carbohydrates a day, with protein and fat at the pinnacle, something to be indulged in with comparative rarity, if indeed necessary at all. That all turned out to be wrong, and not just a little wrong, but so wrong that it might as well have been not just wrong, but a veritable anti-truth, something as wrong as it could possibly get. The food pyramid was brought into being not least by the US Department of Agriculture, that is, by marketers, not scientists or nutritionists, with no shortage whatsoever of lobby efforts by those whose products ended up being promoted. So first off, I'm gonna get what he got right. Yes, there are lobbyists for the agricultural industry. By the way, there's also lobbyists for the meat and dairy and industry and whatnot. The Food Guide Pyramid advocated for reducing meat consumption, increasing uh, consumption of whole grains and fruits and vegetables. And yes, ever since that was instituted, people got fatter. There's one tiny problem with this story. People didn't follow it. Yes, they ate more carbohydrates. Yes, they ate more grains. They also ate more sugar, more total calories more fats, they didn't increase their level of exercise, they did not increase fruit and vegetable consumption, in fact, I think it's gone down. This idea that we like followed the food guide pyramid, yeah, we followed the one thing, which was increased consumption of grains, and then we obliterated everything else off that. I mean, I think you could argue that actually meat consumption's gone up too, but I'd have to totally check on that. It certainly didn't go down. And I'm not advocating for reducing meat consumption. I think that meat is a high quality protein source. We've talked many times about it. I'm a protein guy. And so yes, I also agree that the food guide pyramid saying that protein should be a smaller amount of your daily intake. I think that was a mistake. But again, people didn't follow the food guide pyramid. It also said exercise more, eat less calories, minimize sugar, minimize added oils. People didn't do that. In fact, in the last 50 years, I believe the number one source of calories is added fats. This is the problem with people who speak outside their area of expertise when they don't actually understand the research. He's partly right, and he's right enough to make a cogent argument that sounds good. The reality is he's very wrong about specific things that basically make his entire argument invalid. I'm not saying that the food guide pyramid is the best way to eat. I believe and I'm an advocate for high protein intake from lean proteins, minimizing processed food consumption so you can control overall calories. I'm an advocate for exercising more. The problem is we have teams now in nutrition and it's not about getting out the right information. It's about my team winning. It's almost like politics now. So whenever a study comes out, people don't look at it and go, hmm, let's read that open-minded and see what the data actually says and try to get the right answer. They look at it and if they perceive it as a threat to their team, they're gonna debunk it before they've even read it. I'm not saying I don't have bias. Of course I do, I'm a human being. But when I go into looking at any study, I go into it in the back of my mind saying, it is possible that what I believe to be true is not true. And I need to question even the most fundamental things that I hold true in terms of my beliefs. 
or hypotheses or conclusions based on the current data. If I have a very strong opinion about the data based on decades of research, I am not just gonna flip flop that opinion based on one study. It's gonna take a lot of studies for me to change that opinion. This digging in and entrenching ourselves in a belief because I believe I can eat an all meat diet or I'm a vegan or I think intermittent fasting is the best thing or low carb, whatever. It is killing actual nutrition science because it's not about getting the right recommendations now. It's about showing that my team is right. Yes, the food guide pyramid came out. Yes, people got fatter and sicker. No, they did not actually follow it. They followed one small portion of it and everything else they dismissed. Still like a lot of what Jordan Peterson has to say philosophy wise, I'll make a deal with Jordan. I'll stay out of philosophy if he stays out of nutrition. All right guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next week.